Guys, what is going on? My name is Ryan. I play chess and put my videos on YouTube. Today, I've got a cool video for you. It's a mate example, and I hope to expand to that playlist of mine. Uh, it's a new one. I haven't had this one before. It's called a hook mate. We'll get to the details of what a hook mate is closer towards the end. Uh, I also like this video because it it um, involves a queen, queen exchange, a queen for two rooks, and uh, we'll see how that plays out. But he goes e4, I do e6, and we get into the French defense exchange variation. Pin the knight, he gets out of the pin right away. He threatens this, he can take a pawn now. I go ahead and give him check, and now I'm able to take this pawn back and win my pawn back. He wins another pawn, but I'm okay with it because I think that I have a advantage right now just simply in the way that my pieces are arranged. For example, he cannot castle on the queen side any longer. Um, he, I'm pretty soon I'm going to you know ruin his king side by taking this knight and this pawn along with it. And uh, my rook is active. I'm about to castle. All my pieces are out. So I go ahead and take. He takes again. I castle, get my king to safety, and then I start my checking. So I check there. And the cool thing about this is that he cannot take this bishop right now because of this checkmate in one with this rook queen combo, which makes this knight even more you know important because the same thing could happen over here on the bishop side. He protects it, and I double up this threat on this bishop. He goes ahead and says it's a lost cause and just uh, castles. Now I could just win this bishop, but I think that the stronger move, now that this um, you know, takes checkmate, is no longer on, um, I want to get rid of this bishop, and I also want to get rid of this knight. So he takes back with the queen, I take with the bishop, and I guess that was perhaps a mistake on my end, because I should have taken with the rook, but now he's able to come and win this piece. I go ahead with the initiative and offer an exchange of queens, but he takes my rook instead, which is the right move. I drop my bishop back. He goes ahead and thre threatens to take both my bishop and my knight. It's a good move. I go ahead and protect both of them. He pushes this pawn, get my knight out of the way. He protects this uh, space. Um, I bring my knight up, and this is a very interesting move, I thought. He cannot take my knight here because of this check winning the queen. Um... And he also cannot move this rook right here, because I just win it with the bishop. He goes ahead and stops this check threat, and I go ahead and just take with the bishop, knowing that he still cannot take my knight, because the same tactic is on. He goes ahead and offers a exchange queen for two rooks. I happily accept the exchange, and this leads into, leads into a beautiful looking hook mate. So what is a hook mate? A hook mate... The hook mate involves the use of a rook, knight, and pawn, along with one black pawn to limit the black king's escape. The rook is protected by the knight, and the knight is protected by the pawn. In this case, I have a bishop and uh, instead of the pawn, but I think that the hook mate still applies in this situation. His only move right now is right there, and I go ahead and execute the hook mate. This is a mate in one, and a uh, very good looking mate. Anyways, I wish you guys the best of luck, and uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. Have a good night. What's up guys, thanks again for watching my video here today, I really appreciate it, and uh, if you have any questions about any specific moves or anything about the game, please leave them below, I'd love to answer those. Um, and last but not least, if you got anything out of this video at all, or you just simply enjoyed it, I would highly encourage you to subscribe, uh, it helps me out a lot, and uh, that way you can you know, get in touch with any future videos that I put out. Anyways, have a good rest of your day, and good luck in your chess.